Good morning, friends. How is everyone doing? Uh, it is pretty early in the morning and I am just getting started here on my day. I have a few curtains to fold up. Some curtains that I washed and just got them out of the, the dryer. So I'm going to fold them because if I put them anywhere apart from the right place where they should go, you know how that is. <laughs> Uh, they may stay right there for another week or two. So I'm going to just fold them and uh, put them in their rightful place. Uh, now, quite a bit to be done today, which includes a potting some cabbage seedlings. I have about four cabbage seedlings. I'm just testing those again because of my region and see how well <clears throat> they do in my space. So I've only done about four, four seedlings for the season and according to the results then I can always plan for more um, next year. So I'm going to up pot those and that simply means that I'm going to take them out of the little seed pockets that I sowed the seeds in and put them in a larger pot. Not because I can't um, plant them out in my garden as yet, but simply because I'm trying to um, help them to develop a stronger root system before I put them out into the garden. It's a bit chilly, it's about 78 degrees right now, which is, which for me is chilly. For you, it's gonna be what? <laughs> 78 degrees chilly? <laughs> I'm sure you're boiling at that point. But for me, I'm a bit chilly. Well, I hope you're doing well, you and your family. Mothers, I hope you're doing well, and your children, if you're a single mother, I hope that you're doing well. And if you are a wife, I hope that your marriage is going well also. That's the most that I can do. Wish you all the best. I may not be able to do anything else for you, but if I can wish you the best, I think that can go a long way. And that's what I want to do to all of you who are tuned in, all of you who are watching uh, this, this video, to just wish you all the best. Take care of yourself, take care of your home. And uh, though it's not guaranteed that you receive back goodness from the goodness that you have shown, it is still more likely that you would rather than if you do evil because if you do evil evil would also uh, come back to you right all right so we are going to freeze i usually freeze uh, my furniture to keep them fresh because that way you come and you sit and you want to make sure when you're sitting that you smell freshness all around you, right? So we do this. Mmm, lovely. I love this aroma. It's very fresh. It's called ocean. Really fresh and nice. So I would normally spray a bit before I vacuum and then I would spray bit again on the carpet when I finish vacuuming also. <laughs>
I'm gonna go out now and deal with these seedlings. That should be a skip and a hop, something very, very quick to deal with. All right, so we're gonna go outside now and up pot the seedlings and get them into some larger pots. So these are the cabbages that we are going to up pot. Let me see if I can set my camera. I have a bag of potting soil right here. And I have some, some cups, regular cups I'm going to use. I used these a, a few years ago and washed them when I was finished and had them in my storeroom so I am going to reuse them. I see one, two, three and we have two right there. I don't know if I'll be able to separate these two without any damaging of the roots. So these cups were already in use so you would notice that they already have the holes um, on their bottoms so I don't need to go through that again because that was already done. Just a little bit of soil. And let me see if I can get this out. Yes, it's coming out nicely. I'm gonna just put that in and backfill. Backfill my, with my cutting soil. And as I said, this is just so that they can develop a nice root, strong root system if I plant them out. I do the same thing. Just a bit there. Okay, so in this, there is a small seedling and I'm not gonna trouble that. That's, um, of course, this pocket had in two seeds. Uh, one is far outgrown um, compared to the other one. But I'm going to leave both of them there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to remove this at this time. I can probably put it in a small pot and then I will just backfill this with soil. stubborn and then I'll just water in right two And the final one, let me get this out of the way. The final. Actually, I would um, split. I would split these right now and create two different pots. Right at this point. This, I think this is the ouch. It's a good time to split those.
experimental plants. And let's do the last. So I have five cabbage plants right there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I have my gloves and still did not use them. I just love the feel of soil on my hands. So I would always be the last to remember to put on my gloves. <laughs> All right, so we are going to water water these and then allow them to grow out probably for another week or two and then i will transplant them in the garden i'll just water in these a really a good drink of water a good drink of water that would wet the pot in soil along with the soil where their roots are almost strong that you can do the same here a good drink of water that goes down to the roots so we continue to water this in And I can see the water is dripping from the bottom, so I know that that is well soaked. And that's that's what I want to say. I want to see water escaping from from the bottom of the glass, which would have shown me that the water is going all the way down to the roots. All right. Out of the way. A good drink. And the final one. So a potting simply means to increase the pot size and most time it is done for better root system because it means that the pot that the plant already is in is too small for the root system so you up pot to something bigger to give give them space give the roots some space all right so let's get these out of the way so i can show you what else is going on here Let's move these over here. In this seed cells, we have some onions that were sown. Um, I would say about a week ago, but I'm not seeing any sign of life. Uh, this is a soil that I have mixed uh, myself. I think, okay, this might be one coming up right here. There's a thin uh, hair of greenness head which i believe might be um one of the onions but i believe that they're coming up a little bit too slow for me but the soil that i have here is a combination of my oat soil um along with uh, a small amount of um potting soil from the center from the garden center and also some peat moss that i mix together it seems a little bit maybe heavy i think it might be a bit too heavy uh, so that's why i'm being patient with the seeds uh, i i'm going to give it another few maybe another a week or two and see what happens if nothing happens then i'm going to just crumble everything together and then come again 
I am also noticing a second hair right here. The grass hair, which is um, as thin as I believe the onions should be. So we have one hair and one hair. I'm hoping that those are onions. Um, and if so, they should be um, ready, I would think, in another two weeks to go out into my garden. In this cell, in these cells, um, I have sown another set of onions um, because by all means necessary, I need some onions in my garden this season by the hook or the crook. So I am doing everything possible. So if I do not have any success from that first sowing, I sow these yesterday and these are uh, sown in this potting soil. This soil is directly from the garden center. Therefore, I'm expecting that if my own mixing gives me no result, then I should search, certainly get some results from, the pot, from this potting soil. So that's what is in these um, cells. And uh, in each cell, I've sown uh, two um, onion seeds each. So if I have success with these, uh, and success with the first set that I just showed you, then uh, that should be a good showing to go out in my garden. And apart from that, I have ordered some seed from Johnny and uh, I got a notification maybe about two or three days ago because I ordered, I believe last week, Friday. And uh, I got a notification yesterday that the seeds are on their way and they will be delivered on Saturday the 9th of December. Now, where the seeds are going to be delivered um, is at a courier. So it would take me probably another extra day or two to get them. Actually, after they're cleared, because they're going to get there on Saturday. The courier is not going to go and clear the box until about Monday. Um, and uh, they are not going to be able to deliver to me still until all of, the, all of the processing is done, which would normally take another extra day. So I am anticipating that by... Um, Tuesday or Wednesday, I should have uh, those onion, uh, those onion seeds in my hand, and when it, well, not onion seeds. Let me correct myself. Those onion starts, uh, those should be ready to go straight out into my garden, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Once I collect them on Tuesday or Wednesday, I am gonna go straight to the garden and sow them. So between now and then, I am preparing or I have to prepare the area uh, where those are going to be planted. All right, so we're finished with your potting of these seedlings. And now before I go, there's one other thing that I need to show you before I go. And that is a pot I have with some lettuce that I believe are coming along beautifully well. They're all clustered together. I can choose to thin them out but honestly I'm gonna leave them just as they are and see what is the results I believe that the taller ones will be the first use and then the baby ones that are underneath fighting for egg coming up uh, at a point when the older ones are already trimmed from the top uh, then they would have their their time so it's a small um, form of succession <laughs> It's a different type of, of succession that I am I am choosing to use and see how that uh, turns out. So let me just show you what this pot looks like. This is my lettuce pot, my pot with the lettuce. And these were sown maybe about two weeks or so ago. My camera is threatening to fall. So let's hold it so it doesn't fall. All right, so... You can see that I have some bunches here and there and there. We have a few um, single ones, but the majority of them are bunched together and clustered together. But we have some that are tall, so I would think that when these uh, finish with their bearing, after I have um, dealt with these, then I will have some smaller ones coming up underneath. Again, another form of succession. Um, planting. So this is where I'm going to say goodbye for today and thank you as always for joining me for another uh, episode of Vintage to Sewing Time. 
it's always a joy always a pleasure to spend this time with you I have a lot more to show on the property but we're doing a uh, bit by bit little by little and when those time come then I'll show you what else is going on on the property so I'm asking you to stick and stay I'm asking you to subscribe so that you will not miss any of those and share the video and remember when you subscribe to hit the notification button so that you will know any time a video uh, is out as always I declare the blessings of the Lord upon you I declare that you are above only and not beneath that you are the head and that you are not the tail and that anything you put your hand to that you would succeed that you will not fail but you would succeed bye until my next time I am Petron. Did I say that? Yes. I am Petron and nice to meet you.